Right. Anywho. Hitting this switch will activate three pipes. First one, we head back to our roots. Techn I was wrong. Maybe it was the third one. Anyways, back in dry, dry desert here. And... You know what? This is actually quite nice. It allows me to make two things here happen. One, I'm gonna heal. That's for certain. Because I don't want to get my butt beaten within the next five minutes. So we're gonna take a quick nap. Pleasant dreams. And I think it's the first time we slept at Dry Dry Desert. Mm, comfy. Anyway, moving on. We're gonna go back to the back, 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 back alley. And visit Merle again. Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly, feeling blue? I'm Merle, you see? That's me, a cuter gal you never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, well, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Oh, how lovely, very good. Just pick one now, if you would. I'd pay as much as I could, and we're gonna take the special course for long time fun. And we're ready, tally-ho, tally and here we go. Don't blink! I've also been watching a lot of, um... Pen and Teller Fool Us videos on um, YouTube, which have been quite interesting. I've been amazed at quite a lot of things. I think you'll find this power might get your folks to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even if you should meet a beast, do not fear, not the least. My fell makes a frip. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then. Please come again. Good goodbye, my friend. Now, if I could just get my foot out of my mouth, we'll be good to go. But, um... I don't think it would. I was so, as I was gonna think. Uh, I was like, darn it! Put out of mouth, please. As I was gonna say earlier, I don't think you could light the darkest hour because I'm referencing Persona 3 at this point. The dark hour. Cooper's house. Okay, I'm out of here. But um, I don't think we're gonna be getting the side quest unless a lot of pe unless some people want it. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Koop. Say, might you do me a favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but, um, perhaps just one little bit of you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado. I'm certain if you were asked Colorado's wife, she'd lend it. If it isn't trouble, please go there as soon as possible, you promise, young fella? Now that's easy, but he has a long list that I'm not even gonna go into. And we'll probably go into that stuff later, maybe, maybe, sorta. Leave a comment for who those of you who actually subscribe to me at the moment. And now we return to our roots, the third one, Goomba Village. Oh, roots, as much as start the game. Teehee. Um, Alright, let's pick up a souvenir. Yeah! Goomba. Let's continue on our merry way. Another stone block, gone. And I do believe all the blueberries we have to worry about. Hey! Fortune to see. Oh, is that up there? Okay. So let's head on and head on and press on some more. And spiky gloombas. I do not want. Thank you. Springy, springy. And we get a uh, sleep stomp? No power speed. Do we eat that? Please tell me I have something for. Yes, it's power smash. Yes! <laughs> Power smashy. I love it. Anyways, we gotta move across here. Let's just let them drop down there. And jump across. Right, now here's what I was thinking of. Behind the pipe. There's a secret room up here. Didn't see that one coming, did you? So anyways, we're gonna drop down... Um, yeah, we're gonna drop down this hole. 
and we'll find a hidden super locker room. Which part, remember we up one upgrade? Paracara, I said we were gonna give give it to. So why not? Shell shot need one. We're making good progress. Anyways. And so we're back in this room once more. Since we have Paracarry out, lucky us, we're just gonna glide on over here twice and grab a desirable reward. And we continue our search for the item I've said we're going to find in here. Um, yes, no, why? Well, this is like the super -iest, super, super block episode ever. No, no, change my mind, holy crap. Cooper, because I just love the fire shell. Oh, man. Oh, God, oh, man. Now, what is wrong with me today that I can't remember anything. I guess we're heading back up. Uh, let's keep on that up. But yeah, okay. Like, it got really cold in Virginia all of a sudden. And I just have to point that out. It's like 80 the um, day before and then all of a sudden Boom! It hits you like a ton of bricks. It's like, wow, it got cold. Like, 40. Like, like dropped 40 degrees overnight. It was ridiculous. I know I've been over here, but I... Um, I'm lost. Ever so slightly. I know it's down here too, that's the sad. I may be a moron. And if it's what I'm thinking it is, let's go to flower fields first. I swear, if the sequence of events is right, I'm gonna friggin' kick myself in the balls later. Let's check Ralph's badges. I'll take it. I don't usually use charges, as I believe I've said before in the first episode. Or not the first episode, but the first uh, fortress, Cooper Rose Fortress. Eh, but it's a nice thing to have. So yeah. Well, let's go start the craziness. That is Flower Field. Magic door away! Boom. Flip. Chapter 6. Dark Days in Flower Fields. Menacing, isn't this guy? Let's move it. Ah, uh, sunlight already burns. Anyways, what ho? Now who might that be? Ho ho ho. Ho, up here, son. They call me Wise Whisterwood, for I'm the oldest tree in the flower fields. The land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the Star Spirits and the rest of your world, aren't you? Very noble. If that is true, then your arrival means the Star Spirit is here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Flower Fields is in trouble. A creature named Huff and Puff, <laughs> and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. 
Of course, it must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Oh ho, you're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, that would make the wishes of flower fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky on what we call the cloudy climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find a magical bean or something that grows high. You don't say. Now wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Mm, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east, and we've heard to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bulb bulbs around here might have useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. No! Oh, so yeah, here's our little plot that we need to do stuff with. Oh god, you're ugly. Are you, are you Petunia? Straight west. Okay, west. Okay, um. Mm, nope. Yep. That, these flowers are strangely the only thing I kind of like about flower fields. It, it's an interesting concept where you have to. Well, you'll, fi you'll find out soon enough. So, um. Six directions, I do believe. Uh, yeah, six directions. Let's head off to the top right. And I don't think we're... Yep, not correct. Uh, you are a weird um, glitchy texture right there. Nothing? Alright. Oh, boy. This is just brilliant. And so starts the mighty fetch quest. Oh my god, no. I don't want to hit these trees. Not at all. Oh my... Guys, meet the zaps. Ooh. Well, who are you? Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now these multi moles dig into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. Beautiful sea collection will become a multi mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Can you get rid of those multi moles for me? In case you're wondering, the multi moles I'm talking about are this guy, and this jerk, and this troublemaker, <laughs> and this wicked creature, and this guy is a. Well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. <laughs> Please don't fail me. My seeds and I are counting on you to save us. So let's start bombing things. Yeah, you see me now, don't you? Come on, come on, come on. Boom! Blew you right out of your hole, didn't you? So yeah, HP of 12, correct? I'm glad we slept. And... Crap. Power bomb! A little bit overkill for the first one, but quite nice for the second. These guys still do hurt. Right, let's power smash this little phony. See why I went um, power smash? Let's wait till we get mega smash. That's gonna be a sight to behold. So, rev all up! Where were we? I'm, I'm gonna go with HP. We the super blooper kind of made me realize how weak I actually almost... Well, I died. Almost. I died once, technically. So, yeah, I did die. Ish. I will not admit defeat! And you can't make me. So, um... Power balance. Power jump. Bingo. That's what I wanted to see. One coin. Very nice. So let's bomb some more moles. Oh, that look. Jerk. Wow. Fascinating. So one. And does anybody know what's coming next? I do. PK. PM. 
Star Storm! Go! PK is reserved for friggin' Brawl and... Uh... The Mother Series. PM definitely would work, though. So, jerk. Hmm. Alright, I think I can do this. That'll work. I think we're gonna do... something a little bit similar. Except I'm not gonna make a lame, lame line out of it. Good progress. And we're good. Oh, yippee! Hurrah, hurrah, yahoo, wee! <laughs> oh, God, me. I'm not Dr. Seuss. Um, <laughs> you got rid of the Monty Moles. Oh, thank you, thank you. To show you how grateful I am, I give you this magical bean. Here you are. Wink, wink, not judge. It's a bean. It's switching as if to say, Play me this instant! <laughs> Anyways, we got a magical bean. Hmm, yes, my name is Pat. He said what? That liar pants. <sighs> Not only is he ugly, he's the liar pants. Yay! <laughs> so very fortunate. Anyways, yes, the name is Petunia. They call me the Sea Maniac. Hehe, <laughs> nice to meet you. By the way, about that magical bean I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and it sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with those, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. Wink. Nudge, 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 nudge. I don't want to think of a sprout growing on my cute little seed. No! Oh, what the... But, um... Yeah, let's not tell her about that. So, yes, red berry. Same thing as a mushroom. Berry found in flower fields. Resource 5 HP and... Usually during this, I tend to accidentally hoard berries. Hey, look! A stinky herb. This herb smells kind of bad and restores 5 FP. Uh... Yeah, those things drop from the walls on occasion. So anyways, off to the bottom right. We're wrong. We were wrong. I'm sorry. My mistake. And you, you're a friggin' liar. If I could freaking beat you, I would. Here. Thank you. 